Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Real quick, I want to get a couple things out of the way, so this might be a little bit of a longer intro. So if you just want to go ahead and skip to the meat and potatoes of this video, it's absolutely fine. But if you care to listen to a couple things I have to say, then I would really appreciate it if you stuck through the intro and listen to the to what I'm about to say. Um, so first and foremost, uh, we're at 2,000 subscribers. And I honestly, guys, I have no words to explain how it doesn't feel real to me. Um, that's the only way that I can explain it. It doesn't feel real to me. Um, it's mind blowing. I'm ex I am so grateful and proud of what we've been able to. And I say we because this is just not me doing this. This is you guys. You're the guys that always watch the videos. You're the guys that show the love. You're, got, you're the guys that leave the comments, that, that leave the likes, that give me the feedback that I need to keep going. And without you guys, this channel probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be making videos, honestly. Um, I probably, no, I probably would, but <laughs> there, it would be just a little bit different. Um, again, I don't want to come off as me being super desperate and, you know, asking for subs and likes, but it's <laughs> i just i have no words in two months we've done something that i tried to do since 2016 um in two months 2000 subscribers it's crazy guys uh since 2016 all the way to 2018 almost towards the end of 2018 i I gave up on YouTube basically. It was kind of like a dream that I thought never was going to happen. Uh, and it's a dream that I'm still trying to, to try to achieve, you know, to one day make this my, my thing, you know, to be a YouTuber and to entertain people and help people. And I feel like I'm step by step, we're getting there. Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. It means a lot. It truly does. It's very simple. You guys might be like, oh, all you got to do is hit that little red button. But for a, a content creator, I it's it means a lot. It shows that you guys are actually interested and you guys like what I do. Uh, and for that, I thank you. Also, if you guys want to go ahead and tune into my live streams, I will be leaving all my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Twitch in the description and in the comment section down below i'm going to be live streaming every day um so if you guys have any time any spare time and you guys want to go ahead and chill into the live stream then i would really appreciate that um, i will be streaming later today i'm either already streaming by the time this video is up or i'm probably an hour late which is probably what's going to happen because uh, i'm an idiot <laughs> But yeah, um, I would appreciate it if you stop by and then hit that Twitch follow button so that you do not miss out on any more live streams. Um, but yeah, guys, today's or yesterday's live stream was incredibly fun. I live streamed for six hours. Um, a bunch of guys were there. A bunch of the chat was 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 popping. It was it was crazy. It was very very enjoyable, uh, and I can't wait to do more live streams in the future. So make sure to go ahead and tune in to that. Also. If you want to get if you want to get the chance to be featured in Friday's top plays of the week video, just remember send me in, send me your craziest Battlefield 5 clips to the email that I will be putting in the comment section down below. Just send me your clips and you might get featured in Friday's video. But with that being said and done, let's go ahead and hop straight into today's video, which should be an interesting one. Alright guys, we've done the Assault class, we've done the Medic class, and we've done the Support class, and last but certainly not least, we're going to do the top 5, or not top 5, I'm actually going to make it top 4 best weapons in the Recon class for Battlefield 5. Now the only reason I'm making it top 4 is because I, I've only used... For weapons so this is kind of biased you could say um, but as you can see I haven't used a self slider 1906 I haven't used the RSC the ZH 29 and the model 8 those are just weapons that don't honestly interest me especially the model 8 it just looks horrible um, so yeah getting straight into the fifth position we are going to have to give it to the elite Enfield uh, this is the beginning sniper rifle you get when you open battlefield 5 ever since I um, first got the game, I haven't used the weapon. Uh, I know it's a really good sniper. As you can see, these are the specializations for it. Quick aim, custom stock, lightened stock, and variable zeroing. Um, again, it's a really good gun. 
as long as you get those headshots you don't have to worry about how much damage the weapon does but if you're not that good with headshots then you know this might not be the weapon for you it's a very decent weapon a rate of fire of 72 shots 10 rounds uh in a clip um and yeah i can't really give a real opinion on this gun because again i haven't used it in a very very long time so I really won't go too much into detail, but I've seen people do a lot of damage with this weapon uh, and do some and do get some crazy clips with it. So there you go. Top four is the Lee Enfield. All right, guys. Now moving on into the third position, I'm gonna have to give it to the Gewehr M95. Um, this is the second sniper rifle or the first sniper rifle actually that I got to level 10 and I got the uh, gold plated uh, camo for which was incredibly painful by the way um, but yeah I'm giving it to the Gewehr M95 only because there are two snipers that I prefer a hundred times over this one even though this is the strongest sniper rifle in the entire class I just haven't used it in a long time and I don't know I feel like I enjoy two other sniper rifles more over this one so we're gonna have to go ahead and put this one in the third position but these are the specializations actually if you're running a sniper rifle always always trust me always use quick aim over anything so quick aim custom stock light in stock and variable zooming or zeroing my bad so there you go this is the third position pick we're going to go ahead and give it to the Gewehr M95. Here you go. Now let's go ahead and hop into the second position weapon. Now this one is kind of hard for me to pick just because I love the car 98. Definitely. It's just, just the way the weapon looks, the way the weapon performs. It's such an amazing sniper rifle for a long distance that it's kind of hard for me to not put it uh it's kind of hard for me to put it in the second position and not the first honestly but again a level 10 weapon these are the specializations quick aim variable zeroing low drag rounds and bipod um i love the way this weapon feels it's very satisfying getting those headshots especially back-to-back -back headshots um but the only reason i have it in the second position is because the weapon does feel a little bit slow with the rate of fire of only 49 only five rounds before you have to reload and the reload for this sniper rifle is really lengthy um so those are the key factors why it's in the second position you know it feels kind of slow uh it's only meant for long to medium distance fights even you cannot play aggressively with the sniper class if you're gonna run the car 98 i guarantee you that for a f like that's 100 percent you cannot play ag aggressive with the sniper rifle it's just way too slow and sluggish but again it's a beautiful rifle it's a very iconic weapon i love this gun um, but sadly, I just can't put it at number one because it's a little bit too slow and because of that ammo count. But yeah, giving it to the second position, we're going to go ahead and give it to the Car 98. It's a very, very good gun. And last, or not last, but the first position pick, which might be a surprise to a lot of you guys, but not the people that were in the stream. So, see, things like this happen in the stream. Um, someone in the stream recommended me to use the Krag Jorgensen. Now, this is a sniper rifle that I was never really interested in. I don't like the way it looks. I felt like, I don't know, you know, the Car 98, the Gewehr M95, those are my go-to sniper rifles. But after using this weapon today, my mind is 100% changed. Even though the damage looks slow, even though the control doesn't look that good, this gun is incredible, guys. The amount of headshots that I got today with this weapon, the way the weapon feels, how light the weapon feels, how quick, how responsive. It j I just had to give it to this gun. I just had to give it to the Krag Jorgensen. I thought I was never going to use this weapon. Um, as you can see, it's only a level 5 currently. I can't wait to try and get this weapon to level 10. There's, there's a lot more grinding to do with this weapon, especially on stream. I can't wait to, to do that. Um, but as you can see, a rate of fire of 55, so it's higher than the Car 98. Um... 
and it does have one more round over the car 98 which isn't all that impressive uh but if you're getting back-to-back -back headshots uh that one extra round can help you in a in a very uh crazy situation so there you go i don't have any specializations currently on the gun but let's go ahead and do it live on video so you guys can see what i would pick for the gun so i would obviously go with quick aim because slings and swivels is honestly very useless um then i would go with custom stock machined bolt so you can uh, improve the fire rate from 55 to 62 which is actually a very good buff and i would go with the bipod for those long distance situations uh when you decide to you know play a little bit campy and stay back while your team pushes and try and take out a bunch of enemies from a further distance so there you guys go this is my top pick for the sniper class i have to give it to the crag jorgensen it's a very good gun if you guys haven't used it i recommend it 100 percent your mind will definitely be blown by this weapon and how good it performs. And it does look very different from the other guns. If you look at the six times scope, it's way longer. Um, when I saw it, I was like, whoa, does this weapon have like a special scope or something? Cause you know, it doesn't look normal. If you look at any other sniper rifle, the six times scopes are much shorter and like a little bit fatter. Um, but yeah, this is the top four best weapons in my opinion in the recon class in battlefield 5 hopefully you guys did enjoy this video again if you did make sure to go ahead and leave a like leave a comment and most importantly subscribe so that you help the channel to grow even more and so that you do not miss out on any more battlefield 5 content coming out real real soon also i will be linking down in the description all of my social medias my instagram my twitter if you want to get in contact with me and so that you do not miss out on any updates that should be coming to the channel real real soon and i will also be leaving my twitch so that you can go ahead and tune into a live stream so that you watch me play live live and we can interact in the chat but with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's top no not top plays of the week that's friday uh, but i will be catching you guys in tomorrow's video and hopefully in the live stream that should be going on right now or in an hour from now so with that being said peace out guys and take care